I guess your your head nodding kind of tells it all, right? Yeah. Are you are you numb, or what's going through your head? You know. Uh, just a lot. Uh, mainly these kids. Yeah. Uh, the commitment that they showed, uh, the, the, the the progression that they showed throughout the season and getting better. Yeah. And being tighter as a team. Um, the experience that we got from. You know, game one till now, the trip that we brought, or that we that we that we made down here. Yeah. Um, being able to, to to stay at the hotel and, and come out here and and play good football. Um, and now we're gonna go home with the state. Cha- I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game. You almost want to retire. <laughs> like you're done. Okay, mission accomplished. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's, it's well, just, you know, just reflecting just, just briefly, I guess, of, like, you know, I'd gotten cut from uh, the Chargers, and I didn't know what I was going to do, and, um, you know, this opportunity came about, and I, I just, I didn't think I was going to coach, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't, I had no idea, and, uh, you know, just to see all the, the work and effort that's been put in and the trajectory of our program. And yeah. It's just beautiful. I'm just, I'm very proud to be a part of it. I refer myself personally to, to Trent Dilfer all the time. He could have coached anywhere in the country and he went and coached a high school team in Tennessee. Right. And then now he's back at D1, but I'm like, you could have been anywhere. Right. Anywhere. And then you could have been at Cabrillo if you didn't want to go high and shoot for the stars. Right. 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 And then of all places, you go to your alma mater. Yes. A team that was struggling. It just doesn't, like, it does and doesn't make sense, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then look what happened six years later. Yeah, I just, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big uh, I'm big on progression, you know, yeah. and, and taking, you know, certain steps to make sure that we're getting better and that we are, uh, you know, it's just how I, this is how I was as a player, this is how I am as a coach, and, you know, hopefully that is, uh, you know, instilled through the players and as they progress in life and, and learn things and experience things. Hopefully they can look back on this and, and, and see that the effort and the work that you put in uh, can be very rewarding. Yeah. Um, even though during times that, that you're putting in that work, you feel like, ah, oh, why am I doing this? Yeah. And you stick with it and something good usually comes over. I don't want to use the Lord's name in vain or anything, but when you watch your defense play, what are some exclamations that you want to say? You know, like, gosh darn it. <laughs> you know, like, unbelievable. Like the pressure... You know, I mean, those boys played unbelievable, man. Uh, uh, they they just relentless. You know, that, that's the biggest thing that I can that I can say um, about them, and just getting to the football. I mean, they swarm to the ball, and it's and it's beautiful to watch. And you know, especially being a defensive guy. Yeah. Um, and it's something that we really uh, you know want to, to to be known for moving forward. Um, you know, obviously there's going to be some some key players that are going to graduate, things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, but the standard won't change, uh, the style of play won't change, and uh, you know it's an opportunity for other guys to step up. Have you posed with the trophy yet? Not yet. Are you waiting in no, line? I, I'm, I'm waiting in line. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this longer, more of a wait than a uh, Disneyland line, or what? You may be there in a couple hours, maybe. Yeah, you know, I'm you're gonna... probably going to be there. Yeah, right. <laughs> Did uh, talk about Kay's performance? Three oh, sacks man. on three or six sacks. Uh, well, we thought that he, uh, you know, he had a favorable matchup with where he was at, um, and and you know he played to the best of his ability tonight and exploited that matchup. Um, and, well, well, and tell me what you had him doing. Was it, he was usually a linebacker, and you had him line up elsewhere, or what? No, no, no. He, okay. he was playing his normal spot. Okay, the end uh, on the defensive line. Okay, so that's like a D tackle. No okay, guard. my bad. Um, and and you know he's he's a very strong individual. He's very very strong. Yeah. Um, and he has a great work ethic. Uh, he, 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 he takes it, uh, what I want to say, he, 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 he goes above and beyond what's asked of him as far as work ethic yeah. and things of that nature and, uh, it shows on the field and, uh, yeah, he, 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 he's a, he's a major anchor for us, uh, and for this 2023 team. Uh, I don't know how to word this next question, but on third and long for them in any situation or any team and you having Braylon back there. You know, I mean, he had a sensational game, two interceptions tonight. A guy that didn't even want to play at the outside of the year and comes out and now he probably, you know, probably had 10 picks on the season, you know. 
Um, you know, he might steal the ball hawk title from you. I don't know. But so, like, t tell me about Braylon. It's something that you haven't already said about how grateful you are that he, he came back and gave it his all. Yeah, just grateful for that. And, uh, you know, just just and grateful for him being on the defense and, and being back deep and, and just and just ha using his experience to put himself in position to make plays. He's always, he's always there. Right? Yeah, he's Excuse always me. in the right position. Yeah. You know, he ran track previous year or, yeah, last year, yeah. last spring. And he's obviously doing well there. And, and I think he really added to his athleticism and his speed and his explosiveness um, uh, through track. And, you know, just thankful that he decided to, to be on board. And, you know, he obviously played a, a, a key role in getting us this championship. You, you and I have talked about Sam previously, but we're talking about a sophomore. You know, you guys didn't run particularly well today, but no. he got the ball and distributed it. Yes. And some of them just in stride type stuff. Yes. I, your, your AD has been raving about him all year. What has he done to your emotions in terms of your – Making you smile and I proud. Mean, I mean, sometimes you forget that he's a sophomore just by um, you know his maturity and, and decision makes the decisions that he makes in game. Yeah. Um, the throws that he makes, uh, and and we're really excited about him because his future is. I mean, like I say, he can he can he can play this game, uh, and he's only going to get better. He's only going to get stronger. He's only going to get bigger. Um, and and he's a tremendous leader. Can you guys describe your, your stilly focus? I mean, it's not even like that your players said hi to loved ones before the game. You just see, like, I don't want to say murder. You just see, like, a fire in their eyes before this game. What was said before the game, like, to not underestimate this or overestimate, underestimate this opponent. I just think that we just had a special opportunity to, 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 to build our legacy that we've had for this year. Yeah. Um, obviously, winning the CCS uh, was huge for our program, was huge for SoCal. Uh, winning NorCal was huge for our, our SoCal and just the community of Santa Cruz, and then coming here and winning state is obviously, you know, just I mean, it, it's it's enormous, and hopefully it brings a level of respect for football that um, that that can be appreciated. Yeah, you guys are awfully close to Disneyland. Yeah. Is there any plans? <laughs> I'm going. Are you really? I am going. When? Wow, nice. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to film the commercial now, or what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm Dwight Lowry, and I'm going to Disneyland, motherfuckers. Okay. Is anyone else joining? Your wife and your uh, daughter? And okay. And then uh, your brother. Uh, Dwight, go, go over there. You're so Thanks, Dwight. I appreciate, right, man, I appreciate it. it.